Robert YouTube user big on you okay this is a Toshiba satellite laptop and the problem we're having is that the mouse pads not working okay so I'm gonna show you a couple of things when your mouse mouse pad isn't working what you can do um, you could you want to come up to these two different windows but I'm gonna show you how to get here I'm gonna start from the beginning for the people who don't need the um, over explanation of how to disable and enable it you could kind of skip ahead on this video so um let's go ahead all right so depending on your laptop you might have a button right here in the middle right below your space bar there might be a button okay press that button that will unlock and lock your touchpad for those who do don't have that you need to look at your keyboard okay you see right there on the F5 you see the mouse lock button okay so what you need to do there is hold the F in and hold then press the F5 and that's gonna lock it in most cases that will lock it or unlock it so hold down the function key it's called the function key then press the F5 for some people it might be the F9 alright you might have to hold down the F in or F9 some people may not have to press the function key they might just have to press F5 that's it and that will enable it or disable it okay so again to recap you might have a button right below your space bar press that button okay if you don't hold down the F in and the F5 and that will unlock it or just try pressing the F5 some keyboards it may be the F9 key all you're looking for is that symbol so just look for that mouse symbol or touchpad symbol and that's all you're looking for it might be on the F5 it might be on the F9 another thing that you want to do okay if, if that isn't working or let's say um your keyboard is acting crazy okay sometimes people accidentally cut on sticky keys so if you're typing and all kind of weird things is coming up I'm gonna show you what what some people do it's So you just have to check for your particular um, computer, but usually that's bring up sticky keys. That's if you're having a problem with weird things typing. Okay. So the other thing is depending on your Toshiba, like this one is a P875. It's a buddy of mine's, and they were ready ready about throw it out the window. It's a P875 S7200 okay and they couldn't figure it out for the life of them there's not a switch on the side also for some people there might be a switch on the front to disable or enable your wireless or your touchpad or on the side so look for that but for theirs it's really simple if you double click on it the mouse is now disabled you cannot do anything okay but guess what to enable it all you do is tap it again and it's enabled so again if you send this light on here and your touchpad is disabled and you have this particular model or similar model just double tap on it and your mouse will work again as you see here okay um, also another thing that you can do um, which I, I do recommend um, you could plug in an external mouse okay and then once you plug in that external mouse go to start type in mouse okay hit enter and then go all the way over here to device settings alright and then you, you can see right here where it says 
enable or disable. So all we did was went to start, typed in mouse, hit enter, came up and went all the way to the last tab, device settings, and from there you can enable it or disable it. You could do this by using your keyboard if your keyboard is still working at the time or you could just do it by simply plugging in an external mouse and you can either enable it or disable it. And as you see I just chose to disable it. It does the same exact thing and then I'm going to enable it. I can enable it from here just by tapping on it and it's back enabled. Okay so there are a couple of different options and they're guaranteed some people think that they need to replace the whole top panel or their mouse pad is, pad is gone or broken and that may may not be the case try all these steps first you know don't let a shop tell you anything different and beat you out some money or nothing like that you know I'm gonna always be honest with you and try to save you money and um, just you know look out for you guys like I look out for my buddy here you know so I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK on this but you know let me show you one more thing okay let's say you hate this feature because let's say you're typing and all of a sudden boom you you made a stake and, and and did one of these numbers as you typing and you disabled it by tapping it with your palm or something okay so so you never have this problem again I'm gonna show you what you do you go over here you hit settings you're gonna get up to this window here okay you're gonna go to touchpad disable zone and you see it came right up right up touchpad disable and you see it's right right there that's all we're gonna do we're gonna uncheck that and we're gonna hit apply so so I'm going to hit apply on that, then I'm just going to hit OK and get out of this, OK to get out of this, OK. So now let's see if this does it again. Nope, no more, because we disabled it. OK, so again, to recap, really, really quick, press FN, F5, depending on your computer, or FN, F9, or just F5, or look for that symbol on a keyboard and save yourself some time and the symbol will have a picture of a mouse or a mouse pad also look for a button right here below your spacebar key and press that button in or press it out look for a button right here along the front edge or along the side of your computer to see if it's a disable your touchpad also try tapping twice on your touchpad to enable it or disable it and also if your keyboard is acting up make sure you don't have sticky keys and acti activated by holding down alt shift and num lock you know or insert you know are, are a couple of the key combos that might activate uh, sticky keys you could look that up pretty simple to find and also when you can't figure all, anything out, just plug in a USB external mouse. Or if your keyboard is still working, go to start, type in M O U S E. It's going to come right up if this is Windows. Hit enter. And then go over to device settings. And once you're over to the device settings, you're going to either enable or disable. Just that simple. This is Robert, YouTube user, big on you. As usual, I'm here to help, serve, and I, I really do appreciate when you guys say thank you and, um, and um, <laughs> or you saved my life. I really do read these comments. Don't think I don't. I'm not one of them people who just overlook them. I look at them. I smile. I truly love them. Believe me when I tell you that. It, it, it keeps me making these videos, if nothing else. That and my subscriber list going up. And knowing that I'm helping you guys and saving your money and keeping you from going to the shop and paying 50 or 100 bucks, that's what's making these videos. That is what's making them. That's why I got started. That's how I got started making these videos, just to help a friend. And I found out that a few other people found the YouTube video and it was helping them out. So don't think that the subscri subscribing 
and the comment and stuff go overlooked because not with me it doesn't I truly appreciate I truly love you guys for all the love and support you show me look at I truly do and I like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support for the love and for following me it's a big thing to me take care be easy love ya Thank you.